we will follow up with you. I'll say that now. <laughs> okay, and, great. Um, we'll, let's figure out a way to develop a program around that. Maybe, maybe Ulsa could, could uh, join. I don't know, Lisa, if you had any thoughts about that or, I'm, and then in a, oh, go ahead. Hi, Lisa. Hi, sorry, I, I was running out of juice and I had to run and plug myself in. So I apologize if you addressed me earlier. I oh, no worries, no worries. Just saying hi. And um, we were just uh, covering and, and we've, we've had some talks with, with Janice Smith around um, early childhood. And um, we're just, we're kind of having a, a design charrette virtually. And, mm -hmm. and so we're, we're very open to ideas right now. And we're rooted downtown because we've done a lot of advocacy work around kids in cities and getting kids engaged in their city and project-based learning. And Bonnie just, I don't know if you if you heard, she just had this, a great idea that, that kind of connects to something we've been um, developing around the Flint River Trail and um, learning, learning in nature, so experiential, um, kind of louder, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's experiential learning of science in nature. And then Bonnie was talking about storytelling. There's a lot of identified places on the Clinton River Trail, and it's actually, you're probably aware, all of you are aware, it's um, been granted a $600,000 um, award from the Ralph C. Wilson Foundation currently. Mm -hmm. And we're not clear yet. I, I don't want to say one way or the other if there are placemaking yeah, activities like, you know, that kids could, could help develop a mural or develop um, interesting places along the trail that, that engage the mind. Mm -hmm. So I work uh, specifically with the kinship caregiving population which are mostly older adults that are parenting again. Most of them are grandparents and great grandparents who are raising children. Wow. And, um, and, and I, um, we do a lot of intergenerational things with that population. Of course, during COVID times, everything has been virtual. You know, everything has been virtual for over a year and a half. So um, I, I did get the notification about this, um, um, meeting through OU Peace, which I'm very active with. And I see like Anita Barksdale from St. Joe's. She's one of our community partners. So I feel like the, um, you know, population that I work closest with um, would fit well with coming to the downtown area for an event, you know, it based on their comfort level, because, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of the seniors who live with children who aren't eligible for vaccinations yet are really wary of um, mixing it up more because they really want them in school and um, they take a lot of precautions after school, you know? So, um, but this looks really, I'm, I'm really thankful for the video footage that you had in that video to really give us an idea of what you are talking about. Um, I'll put this specific link to that in the chat. And, and the lady, um, I think that's her, that she sells ice, iced flavored stuff. She's at my farmer's market every, every week. Oh, guys, yeah. yeah, she is. So. Oh, that's Christine. Yes. Yeah, I recognize her from my Carol, farmer's market. Carol's Italian Ice. You do a farmer's market? Oh, wow. Well, no, I where I live, I take time out of my day when they're in, you know, doing the farmer's market to go. And she's there. She's one of the vendors. Wow. So, Amazing. I live in Troy. So, you know, she's in Troy every week doing um, farmer's market here. So. Wow. Um, we first met Christine. Yeah. I, it, it was because I, no, sorry. Uh, we first met Christine. We did, um, there's the link to that video specifically, and then I'm going to make a link to this mural as well. And, um, I'm going to have Lindsay, um, uh, in a moment. Lindsay, how are you feeling? <laughs> I have a PowerPoint. I just get that set up. It's, I can act 
okay? Uh, is it your mirror? You don't need that. No, it's Tampa. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what's this? Oh, I'm trying to get this out to everyone here. Thank you. Yeah. You need to get right here. Uh, can you send it to Jim? Oh, um, I think so. It's just like 15 minutes, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have like two really great videos. Overnight. Yeah. Great. Is it, um, I, I can just, can I just open it from the website? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure. That. Really okay, so, uh, we were, I, I want to go with the 